des envies, des envies qui nous lient, des envies d'autre chose ou l'envie d'une pause, des envies ah, de revanche, de gagner une manche, de dire merde à quelqu'un mm. ou alors mm. qu'on y tient. Hi guys, I'm Songyang Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, finally, 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 I'm making redo video of japchae. So japchae is a Korean sweet potato noodles or glass noodles with a bunch of this vegetables and beef, savory and sweet noodles. Oh, so good, delicious. I made this recipe like, uh, I don't even know, like, like a long time ago, let's just say that, long time ago. But if you'd like to watch the original videos, right here, go check it out. I made the recipe um, while I was living in Mississippi, it was super fun. And I also actually did a collaboration with my Japche recipe with Just One Cookbook. So if you wanna check that video out too, go ahead and click right here to watch it. So let's get started. I have about half a pound of beef that I thinly, like a julienne, like a long strips. You can use beef chalk, actually, that's my favorite beef to use, or tri-tip actually works too. So I have a half pound of it, and in here, I'm going to add tablespoon of soy sauce. We're gonna marinate the beef separately to have really nice flavor. Same amount of sugar. Half tablespoon of mirin. And half tablespoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil always bring me back to home this. And my favorite sesame oil to use is Kadoya. Kadoya sesame oil, go ahead and check it out down below on the link you can buy from Amazon or your local Asian grocery store. And some black pepper. And a clove of garlic. I'm just going to grate in into and just mix everything together. All right, oh my God. <sighs> the smell already. I haven't made my chop tip for a while. I think it's been about like a few months now. So I'm, my mouth is already watering. I'm so excited to eat my chop tip today. Okay. So the beef is good to go. I'm going to just set aside. Okay, next I'm going to start to cut up all the vegetables. First, the half of large onion. We just wanna thinly slice. Oh, by the way, don't forget to bring a big pot of water to boil to cook our glass noodles, sweet potato noodles, vermicelli, or tangmyeon, whatever you call it. Like, uh, there's so many names for this glass noodles. Glass noodles, or vermicelli noodles, or sweet potato noodles. Blah, 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 blah. <sighs> so, let's just call it tangmyeon. Tangmyeon is a Korean name. I'm just gonna call it tangmyeon. Why do I need to call it an English name when we actually have a Korean name already? Mm. About a quarter of bell peppers, red bell pepper, just for the color. If you do not have a bell pepper or you don't like bell pepper, you can definitely skip it. Basic vegetable for japchae is spinach, carrot, mushroom, and onion. So other than that, it's really totally up to you. I don't know if you noticed or not, but everything I'm cutting into almost the same size, just a long julienne, just long thin strips, because we are trying to match you with the noodles, that's why. And maybe one or two carrots, depending on the size. Let's just, let's just start with one first. I'm amazed by my life skill too. I know, I know, I know, I know. Mushrooms. So I'm gonna just remove this little stem part of the shiitake mushrooms because you will need five to four shiitake mushrooms depending on the size. You can use different mushrooms too, like just uh, button bell mushrooms, um, Ooh, any mushrooms really. And do not throw away this stem from the mushrooms because you can use this like putting into the soup or making the stocks and everything. So don't throw away. I love putting this into my tenjang jjigae. Slice mushroom really thinly. Not really thinly, but thinly. Now my water is boiling really hard. So I'm going to add some salt into the water so it will season my spinach. And also wanna season my tangmyeon, a little base seasoning, you know what I mean? Now I'm going to put all this spinach. This is about 12, 13 ounces of spinach. And it's about like, you know, one big bundle. 
I washed it thoroughly in the cold water because Spanish tempted to have a lot of, you know, like, um, like, what do you call that? Not sand, but like, you know, a lot of this stuff, dirty stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to put this into boiling water. We do not need to cook spinach too long. We just need to blanch them like five, 10 seconds, literally. You just put it into the boiling water and then we're gonna take it out right away. If you are just doing it at home, you can just run to the sink and rinse under the cold water. But I'm filming a cooking video, so I have uh, ice water. Take all this spinach out, every little single spinach. Do not lose it. And drop it into the ice water right away. So make sure they are all the way cool down and stop cooking. Squeeze all the water out from spinach. Not too hard to break down spinach, but just enough to get rid of the excess water. This is good like this, about this much. Next is egg. We're gonna make egg omelette. And I got this egg from the farmer's market. They are small eggs and they are really, really cute and tiny. If you are using regular large egg, you will need only two, but because of they are so tiny, I might need like three or four. I don't know. Let's see. Super fresh too. I think, I think a three will do. You know what? But since I love my omelettes in my chapche, I'm just gonna do four. Why not? I'm just going to put a tiny bit of salt. Whisk everything together and I'm gonna turn on the heat to medium low and add about a teaspoon of oil. Using a paper towel, rub oil all over the pan. Pour the egg mixture. Let's see, I think egg is about ready. Make sure they are not stick on the bottom. Just flip it over like this. See how Gorgeous color they are, mm, so pretty. And so, yeah, meanwhile, we're cooking the egg. Let's talk about the noodles. This is uh, 0.99 pound, so it's pretty much one pound. There's one ounce missing for a pound. So I'm just gonna use the whole entire this bag. And you can find this from Amazon on the online or your local Korean grocery stores. I'll show you. It looks like this, like a grayish. It says like soaking in the water then cook it, but it's not really necessary. You just need to cook a few more minutes and I just rather do that. So <laughs> I'm just gonna cook it in the boiling water there where we blanch the spinach. And uh, after 10 minutes, just keep checking if it's cooked or not, okay? All right, my egg is good. And I'm gonna turn the heat to now high to medium high heat. I started going to cook all the vegetables. First, uh, the onion. So we are cooking the vegetables from the lowest or the lightest color to the darker color. Each time just add a tiny, tiny bit of oil. Onion goes in. Make sure you stir fry separately and give a little pinch of salt, like really tiny to bring more color out, more brighten up. Cook the onion only a couple minutes. We're just trying to get rid of all the, you know, the sharp onion flavor. We don't need to like cook them until soft. We want all the vegetables still have the nice, their own texture. All right, I think this onion is good. I'm gonna set aside the onion. And since we set aside the onion, I'm going to put my spinach there too. Add a little more, tiny bit of oil. I'm going to start fry the carrot. I mean, you could use already shredded carrots. I mean, hello make your life easier if you can, okay? I just have uh, some carrots that I need to use and they are not shredded already, so it is what it is. Carrots are good too, let's set aside. I'm putting all the stir fried vegetable into a plate where I'm gonna mix all my japchae. Next, the bell peppers. Mushrooms. Mushrooms, I'm just gonna stir fry without the oil or the salt. Just dry, dry, stir fry. The reason I didn't add any oil to the mushrooms because if you just add a tiny bit of it, mushroom is like a sponge. It will like soaking up oil like really crazy. So it's kind of pointless to add the oil anyway. And I didn't add the salt because when you add salt into the mushroom before you stir fry, it will release all the moisture and we do not want that happen. 
that's why. You know, japchae is actually Korean holiday food, so we don't get to eat japchae every day. But nowadays, like who cares? I'm an adult, I can eat japchae whenever I want, okay? <laughs> My mushroom looks good too, let's set aside. Finally, the time for the beef. Gonna add a really tiny bit of oil again. If you don't like beef, you could use chicken, pork, turkey, or whatever protein that you like. Or you could just like skip this part and make a vegetarian or a vegan version of it. But I cannot miss my beef in my japchae, okay? Set aside right here. Let me check the tangmyeon real quick, how they're doing. They're doing great. I still a few more minutes to go, so I'm going to slice my the egg omelette. I'm just going to cut it half, maybe cut the little edge off. This can be my snack later. And then just slice it really thinly. You can put the eggs on top, like my original recipe. I actually put the egg omelette on top of the japchae to, you know, like a kind of top, top it up everything. But today I'm just going to mix it with everything together. Ah, oh, look at this color. Gorge. Oh. Alrighty, let's make the sauce. It's the sauce time. Sauce is super simple and easy. First, you will need soy sauce. One third cup of soy sauce. So what sweetener you're using is totally up to you. You can use a third cup of sugar, third cup of honey, or third cup of a little less than third cup of agave nectar. You know what, today I'm just gonna use agave nectar since, you know, I'm like a little extra today. <laughs> Honestly though, the agave nectar is a little sweeter than honey or the sugar. So I might need to add a tablespoon of more soy sauce in here. Let's see. Two tablespoons of sesame oil and about a tablespoon of sesame seeds or a little extra. Ooh, let me check my noodles real quick. Oh, they're about to be done. They're about to be done. Let me check. Oof, I think of Mm, mm, oh yeah, mm, they are done, okay. I will take out very, very soon, but before that, let's finish up the sauce. A little bit of black pepper, and that's it. Let me taste it real quick, because... Oh no, oh it's perfect. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, make me wanna, wanna make me wanna sing. It's so good. I know, I told you I'm a little extra today. Let's take the noodles out. Every time I make chapche, I always make huge, huge batch of it. But every time, I regret that I didn't make enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're so good. Oh my gosh, my strainer is about to break. <laughs> they're so heavy. Okay, putting into a bowl, we're gonna add a little bit extra, about a table to two tablespoons of sesame oil to the oil, uh, to the oil, to the noodles. So this is really not necessary, but I just like to do. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to add two thirds of the sauce into the noodles. So a lot of japchae recipes, they call star fried uh, noodles with the vegetables at the end on a large skillet or a wok. I learned this from my mom, this trick, that that step is absolutely unnecessary. Cause that step makes only the noodles like smooshy and soggy and like doesn't have any more that like a bite at the chewy texture anymore like about an hour or two so it's actually better to mix like a bibimbap like a bibim let's just mix everything together at the end with the heat of the nature the heat from the leftover heat from the noodles with the vegetables that's the best way and the noodles will stay as delicious as right now for a long time oh yeah my mom is the best yeah i know right now my mom showed you how to make stuff like she is an amazing cook and i i have so much respect for her let's bring the the finer the finer count not count that but the finer plate told you i'm extra today they're super hot just be careful Melting my working gloves because they are like really, really hot. 
I put the, the sauce a little ahead only for the noodles so the noodles will have that, that color and the flavor already absorbed in them. So it's gonna be just, trust me, this is gonna be really delicious. Follow my direction. Follow my direction that you won't fail. The rest of the sauce goes in. Oh my goodness, what I'm gonna do with myself right now. Oh, this is really hot. Can you already tell where it's going? I mean, can you even? I haven't even mixed it all the way through yet. I mean, can you even? Thumbs up already if you're drooling and got hungry right now. Thumbs up this video and share with your friends and family and leave a comment down below how hungry you are. Yes, because I am like, my, my tummy is grounding right now. So by the heat of the noodles, all the vegetables and the meat will heat back up again nice and warm and japchae is usually it's like it can be hot food but usually served like warm not like a piping hot <laughs> i want to marry this japchae i want to marry you i love you so much mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna add about a table more spoon of sesame, uh, soy, soy sauce. So if you are using sugar and the honey, sugar or the honey, you can just equal amount, third cup of each soy sauce and sugar or honey, but agave nectar, you need to maybe add one table more spoon. Let's taste. Oh, one more time. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> Chapter, why are you so good? Can I like? I don't think I can stop eating. Mmm. 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 So warm. I'm not trying to say this is a healthy food, but this is not bad for you either. Like, taste this good and it's not bad for you, I'm down for it. Oh, fell cast up. I don't even know my name anymore. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. I need to take that off so I won't stop eating. Okay, last finale, some sesame seeds right on top. The sesame bay. All right, guys, this is it for today. If you guys loved my job recipe that I have redone it, please give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel if you haven't, and if you don't want to miss out any other awesome recipes with my big personality. Oh yes, if you smiled at least one time, make sure you subscribe. Okay, so you won't miss out all the, you know, amazingness of my recipes and, you know, me. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songyeon Longast and this is Asian at Home and I will see you next time. Bye! Mwah.